What would you do if you found out nuclear war was starting in an hour? This is the agonizing question confronting the protagonist of the 1988 apocalyptic romance, Miracle Mile. Nuclear holocaust would be like no other. With nuclear weapons grabbing headlines around the world as the U.S. finds itself seriously contemplating the possibility of a nuclear confrontation with North Korea, Miracle Mile's vision of nuclear dread is frighteningly relevant again. Aside from being a testament to uncompromising low-budget filmmaking, this cult classic also serves as a warning to the future that is now. To me, there's no greater issue. I mean, global warming or climate change is very important, but it's a very slow clock. At the time, I just thought, this is going to happen, and I have to do something to shake people up about it. At first glance, Miracle Mile appears to be a run-of-the-mill romance. Harry and Julie, two strangers living in Los Angeles, fall in love at first sight and arrange a rendezvous for later in the evening. But as fate would have it, Harry sleeps through their first date and winds up on the wrong end of an accidental phone call, notifying him of the end of the world. What exactly are you talking about? I'm talking about nuclear fucking war. As Harry quickly finds out, no one likes a doomsday prophet. It's only after he is threatened with death that those around him realize that Harry might not be as crazy as he seems. Harry! I'm very serious about this shit, now you tell me now! But while everyone around him scrambles to put together an escape plan, Harry must navigate Los Angeles in search of Julie. In recent years, it was hard to imagine being truly afraid of nuclear war. But with North Korea's recent vague threats, it created a sense of unease for the first time in several decades. In the 30 years since Miracle Mile hit theaters, a number of other countries like Pakistan have become nuclear powers and began amassing their own stockpiles. Thankfully, experts continue to agree that nuclear war is not a likely possibility at the moment. But back when Stephen DeJarnett, writer and director of Miracle Mile, set out to write his apocalyptic thriller in 1978, the threat seemed as real as ever. I have a nice uh, little spot here if the world uh, does end. I get my own food and water. This is every atomic or hydrogen blast in history. And each time there was a little rip in, in, a, in our dimension. My generation back then, people feared it. I mean, it was, it was embedded. I mean, we were absolutely certain we were going to have the war. I mean, we were trained in school to get under your desk and then go down in your family's bomb shelter and come out and carefully take the radioactive dust off the can and eat your food and come up and fight the commies. That, that was going to happen. It was, it was a certainty. But for all its relevance and acclaim, DeJarnet had a hard time turning his script into a film. Studios weren't a big fan of its downbeat ending or its perceived anti-American sentiment. In the film, no reason for the nuclear war is ever given. The only thing that's known for sure is that it's America who launches the missiles first. Although studios wanted DeJarnet to change the script so that it was the Russians who incited the end of the world, he refused to budge. I wrote it for Warner Brothers and, and bought it back from him. And for a while, it was going to go at, at Orion Pictures. And they, it actually fell apart there because Arthur Krim, one of the heads of Orion, and he read the script and said, we love this, but we can't start the war. Uh, the Russians have to. Uh, and I go, well, then there's no time lock, so I, it had to go elsewhere. If Russia or the U.S. had ever launched their nuclear weapons, Americans would only have a matter of minutes to prepare themselves for the fallout. Miracle Mile captures this sense of futility perfectly, as Harry and Julie realize they're not going to make it out of the war safely, and their helicopter crashes into the La Brea tar pits as the bombs begin to fall. For all its hopelessness, Miracle Mile couldn't have ended any other way. It is a warning for the future about the horrors of nuclear war. There's a line people keep quoting back to me when Julie asks Harry, will people be okay, will they rebuild? And he goes, I think it's the insect's turn. And I guess that is my, my opinion. We are living perhaps at the end of this civilization. We have to be extremely vigilant and extremely careful when it comes to nuclear. Nuclear changes the whole ballgame. For now, the best we can do is hope that politicians don't follow through on their threats. But as Miracle Mile reminds us, when it comes to nuclear weapons, the fate of the world is out of our hands. Should we ever find ourselves on the brink of apocalypse, 
the best we can do is find our loved ones and enjoy the show. Easy to make sci-fi sounds, impossible to make music, unless you were a true genius. <laughs>